Oh my god, dude. It's the hydrophobic effect. Okay. Right? But again, we're gonna teach you how to put This is already scary. That seems pretty freaking wild, dude. How's it going, man? Hey, how are you doing? I'm Dustin. Man, this thing is freaking rad, dude. Yeah, isn't that awesome? <laughs> yeah. What is this thing? It's a consolier. Nice, man. This thing is sweet. So you have a fair bit of carbon fiber on this car as well. So yes, the full Varus kit, dude. I love this thing. So this is my R35 GTR. Uh, we brought it to Ceramic Pro today to do the full PPF with Adam. I'll let Adam display all the technical details here and uh, I'll be back to give you a ride home. Sweet, let's do it, man. All right. You know, this is the product we're really known for, Ceramic Pro 9H. Okay. And if you look at it, right, it's a liquid. This is nanotechnology, right? So it bonds into the paint permanently. It makes the paint harder. We took all of the attributes of ceramic coating and put them into a paint protection right. film. So this is the real deal then? This is the real deal. So this will stop rock chips. It'll stop impacts. It'll self-heal. But again, we're going to teach you how to put it on. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to take your job, you know, so. Extra squeezies, squeegees, squeegees, the training squeegees are. You have an extra? Adam, you, uh, you want to help me lay this down or? No, he's going to help you. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have you hop in, take out the extra squeegees, yeah. So Brandon just basically put more slip solution on there, right? He's holding the rolled up film. Our objective right now is to get no dust on the surface. Cool. And then basically you just squeegee it off with overlapping strokes. So start from here, move this way. Don't wipe it on your shirt or a towel. There you go. My squeegee skills, Adam. I'd give it a B minus so far. <laughs> it's just all about the overlap. And then everybody, including myself, has an instinct to kind of go back. You don't want to go back. So the idea of the slip solution is that the film will basically be able to float. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna roll this out. This is already scary. I'm not good with vinyl. <laughs> Let him squeegee. Okay. <laughs> Teach him the ways. Maybe on this side, you can do this side. Okay, so I'm literally just basically the same thing as what we just did with the water, but. Yeah. All right, here we go. It really is like just super clear. That's crazy. So right here, you have this little bubble. Mm -hmm. Get get this pushed to where there's more wet. So you want it to feel nice and yeah, juicy. And all right, so I wanna point out something that's like really subtle, but if you look closely, you can see it. So this is something that actually, even though it's super minor, we're gonna actually redo it. When you come in, like I can actually see it now that you pointed out all the ripples and stuff, and it's a lot harder than, you know, I think it, it looks to be, right? Yeah, it takes literally years of training to become expert. Yes, yeah, that's crazy, man. This is why the professionals do it, guys. All right, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm out of here. It's, it's, this is you guys. Cool. The last step of the process to make this hood look complete is basically to trim off the excess film. Pull her out. Pull it. Cut her. I think I can do that. And when you get to the end, this tense spot, you just cut downward. Are you right here, you think? Yep. Boom. There she is. There she is. <laughs> just poke through this. It's like full on static. Yeah, I guess. That's not a stab, come on. That is pretty freaking crazy, dude. There you go. That's a lot of force. It is a lot, a of, lot force. of pressure. Rock chips are nothing against Kavacha ceramic coating. Uh, Ryan's pulling up right now in his consoliere. He'll take you home. Dude, this is just what a day. Yeah. I can get PPF and a ride in the car. That's sick, man. Well, thank you guys for having me. I'm gonna be itching when I'm back home to come look at it. So take care of her. Yeah. Super clean in here. That thing's pretty freaking wild, dude. <laughs> it's like an airplane in here. Freaking phone in here, too. Yeah. That thing's freaking wild. This thing has AC? Yeah. That is. AC, cruise control. What? Yeah. Are you from San Diego? I am not from San Diego. I am actually from Mississippi. <laughs> really? Yes, I moved to San Diego about three and a half years ago. I uh, graduated college, packed all my stuff up, and came out here. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. You've been doing YouTube for a while now, right? I think I've been doing YouTube for right about nine years now. 
how. Yeah, I did YouTube before YouTube was even really a thing, you know, something I've always enjoyed doing. And Was it always a GTR channel or did it evolve? No, actually, I, I started the channel with a 2012 Civic Si and then moved to uh, the 2015 WX. Okay. I think the 2015 WX is really what um, got my channel out there. Tell me about your follower base and like how they've influenced you to like make different changes like your automotive taste or your hobbies and stuff like that? Um, I think it's kind of the opposite. I don't think my audience has really influenced me on what I like to do. I think that's why uh, I do have a loyal fan base is because I stay true to what I like and what I want to do. So um, I don't know. I, like I said, I, I'm really into JDM and building those old school Japanese cars is what uh -huh. I've been into. And you know, I hope I can inspire and, and show people what those cars are still capable of even in 2021, you know? What did you do to care for your cars before the modern technology that, that's come out? Like, what was your standard car care? It's all the basic stuff like wash and wax. We'd occasionally do the clay bar, mm -hmm. but uh, nothing crazy like the PPF. Now, now that I see, now that I see what it can do, I mean, like, I definitely want to dive more into that stuff. It's it's crazy what 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 they're what's out there now. It's so cool. All right, so where are we going here? Which uh, it's one right over here. Okay. Yeah, dude, thank you for the ride, man. This thing is freaking sweet. Yeah, it was great talking with you. Of course, dude. One week later. So pumped. Ooh. Oh my god, dude. It looks amazing, man. You guys absolutely killed it. I mean, I know I saw like the hood last time and the difference on the roof, and now to see like the whole car, dude, it looks freaking sick. It's like like showroom quality dude it's crazy pure glass it is freaking amazing man yeah. so it's I super protected really easy to clean like literally you can drop a towel on the ground <laughs> pick it up and wipe your car clean and like that won't yeah. damage it a trick i like to show people who've never seen this stuff before is the hydrophobic effect okay right? your car will actually stay clean oh longer. my god look at that dude and then kind of clean itself if it gets wet. That is so crazy, man. What? Has it look wild when it like actually it rains outside, man? That's that's crazy. Yeah, when it when you drive it in the rain, the water's just gonna like beat off of it. Amazing. And I am it'll so it'll just be sick. super easy to clean. Yeah. And it even like feels super, super nice as well. Wow. I'm glad you love it. Yeah, I'm stoked. You guys crushed it, man. All right guys, so I partnered up with Ceramic Pro here to give you guys a full front end Kavacha ceramic coated PPF for your cars. All you guys have to do is head to the first link down in the description to get a free quote and a chance to win.